everyone how are you hope you're having an incredible incredible day and may peace be upon you thank you thank you thank you for watching this video I'm really, really excited to be doing this video and today I'm gonna be teaching you about um, the two I am to be alaikum. how are you hope you're awesome I'm gonna be sharing about I'm gonna be teaching about the two ways that you can sell authentically without being pushy the two ways you can sell authentically without being pushy and if you're catching me live comment one if you catch me in a replay comment two if you're new to me comment three so that I can reach and say hello 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 hi Auntie Ruby how are you how's everybody back home hope you guys are awesome it's gonna be Thanksgiving tomorrow here in America so I want to wish very everybody very quickly happy Thanksgiving may you be blessed always and while I still remember after this I'm gonna put a link above and the link below I'm offering a free 45 minute strategy session I can I think I've got like one spot left this week so if you're serious about attracting more clients and making sales every day in your business with that ads just have a chat click on the link and I will have a chat and put some strategies in for you okay um well you, those of you who are listening can I just check that those of you can hear me really well if you can hear me and see me okay just a quick sound check comment just below comment just below thank you and just comment below where you're catching me from I love to know so today it's gonna be about how the two ways that you can sell authentically without being pushy I hear this a lot the word pushy okay oh I don't want to be salesy I don't want to be pushy I just want to be authentic and this and that um, so I'm gonna bust through oh, see there we go there goes my, my my rings so I'm gonna bust through all that and give you the most incredible tips on how you can have a breakthrough in that because otherwise this is the thing that's gonna stop you true true this is the thing that's gonna stop you because sales everybody drop me a dollar sign below drop me a dollar sign below thank you um, so with sales in business it's about sales like you've got to be focused on committed into making sales after sales after sales after sales after sales a sale a day a sale a day a sale a day a sale a day everybody comment sale below comment sale below thank you because that is the fundamental of your business so then this concept of being pushy without being salesy or pushy is the thing that's gonna stop you from moving forward in your business for making money in the bank money in the bank money in the bank so let's bust through that can I just do like a quick sound check if you can hear me and see me okay comment yes below comment yes below thank you hi Nick how are you hope you're awesome how are things in Bristol Nick and I um, we used to live in the same place before right so we used to live in Bristol together I really miss fidgeting oh thank you for the hearts and the likes thank you for the hearts and the likes you're so good you guys can hear me awesome the two ways that you can sell authentically without being pushy like who wants to be pushy true true click on the hearts and the likes button if you agree with me if you haven't been introduced before my name is is Jihar. I'm the number one international best-selling author of the book 13 key strategies to make money fast in business there you go I've got my munchkin here today he's off school say hi hi there we go he's just jumped off there that's the thing when you're a working mom <laughs> You've got your kids in the background jumping. So the number one ten bestselling author of the book Thirteen Key Strategies to Make Money Fast. Um, just go and grab it on Amazon. I think it'll be of value to you. So right, let's get started now. Are you ready? The two tips, two easy ways to sell without being pushy, uh, uh, to sell with uh, authentically and being without being pushy. Okay, if you're ready, click on the hearts and the likes button. Um, cool. So I think like the word pushy, people, a lot of I when I speak a lot of entrepreneurs and coaches, it's like a big deal. I don't want to be pushy. I don't want to be salesy and everything. So the question is then, why are you creating yourself to be pushy or salesy? Why are you using the words pushy and salesy? That kind of like puts a barrier and stop you, doesn't it? So remember, words create world. Words create world. So everybody, comment word below. Comment word below. Thank you. 
So words create world. So if you keep on using, oh, I don't want to be pushy, I don't want to be salesy, I don't want to be pushy, I don't want to be pushy, I don't want to be pushy, guess what you're creating? You're creating yourself to be pushy. Because just be responsible about it and be aware of it. Words create world. So comment word below, comment word below. Thank you. So words create world. So basically just stop. Stop using the word pushy or salesy. Just stop. Because if words create world, if you kept using the word again and again and again, it's going to create your world. That's how your mind is going to be. It's how you're going to perceive yourself. But if you kind of stop, if you don't like something, you change it, don't you? Does it make sense? If you don't like something, you just change it. And if the word salesy or pushy is kind of like, oh, I don't like to be salesy and pushy, you just stop using the word, first of all. Take it out of your vocabulary. So everybody, comment, stop. Comment, stop, comment, stop. Thank you. So it just, it's not going to be in our vocabulary anymore. It's not going to be in our vocabulary anymore. When I first started, like, you know, I've been an entrepreneur for the last 10 years. So when I first started, I'm like, oh, I don't want to be salesy. I don't want to be as pushy, you know, because some people push this and this and that. It became my reality because I was using the word. I was using the word pushy and salesy and what have you not. So when I started to be aware of it and be responsible about my words creating my world, I just choose not to do it because if you want to say something and do something, you might as well use a word that's going to help you and empower you. True, true. If this makes sense, comment yes below. Thank you. So first of all, two easy ways to sell authentically and stop being pushy is to stop using the word pushy. <laughs> just stop. Take it out of your vocabulary. Just take it out of your vocabulary. Why are you stressing yourself out and labeling yourself as that even though you're saying you're not but because you're saying the word it kind of like creates the whole thing doesn't it? it's your entire focus so if this makes sense comment yes comment yes below thank you oh yes 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 um after this i'm gonna leave you with my scheduler hi rachel how are you hope you're awesome how's the weather back in bristol how are your boys um so i've got a few people from england here I've got my aunt there in there as well. So I've got a few people in here. Well, thank you. Like, thank you so much for hanging out with me. After this, I'll leave a link above here, the link below. I'm offering free 45 minute strategy session. I think I've got one spot left this week. So if you're serious about attracting clients and making sales every day, just click on the link and let's have a chat and we can start moving forward. So number one, stop using the word pushy. Just stop. It's not serving you, it's not helping you, it's not empowering you. There you go, that's my son there. Say hi. Hi. What are you wearing? A hard hat. Yep, yeah, he, he got a hard hat. From where, Baba? Hockey. Sini skit tak nampak. From? Hockey. Hockey. So he had a hockey game last Sunday and he scored a goal. How many goals? Four. He's got four goals, so he's just really excited about it. There you go, because we've been practicing every single day. So that's kind of a sidetrack. If you practice, 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 you're going to get better and better and better and better and better, and you're going to get results. So coming into here, number one, stop using the word pushy, because it's not serving you, it's not helping you, it's not empowering you. Words create word. Everybody comment word, comment word, comment word. Thank you. Hello, Rebecca. How are you? Hope you're awesome. Are you celebrating Thanksgiving? So what are you cooking for tomorrow? Um, my, my husband wants duck. <laughs> so I'll see how that turns up, okay? The duck. So the second part, two ways that you can sell authentically without being pushy is to kind of coming back to your purpose and to your vision and who you are. In other words, who do you choose to be? Who do you choose to be in your business or during sales call? So everybody comment B, comment B, comment B. Who do you choose to be? And what is it that you're standing for every single time that you go out there? when you go on sales call or booking and calls, what have you not, because there's no way that your business is gonna survive if you're not making sales. Let's get that straight. 
there's no way your business is gonna survive if you're not making any sales so everybody drop me a dollar sign drop me a dollar sign thank you so you've got to be focused on making sales and who do you choose to be in that moment when i was before i'm like oh i'm not good in sales i don't want to be pushy i don't want to be salesy i just want people to buy duh but reality it isn't isn't it reality is like people want like like leading the lead people want leaders who's going to be leading them to something to something that's going to help them so when i started to not use the word salesy and pushy and then when I started to kind of create myself, who do I choose to be? Okay, cool. I'm going to be on this call today, in the sales call today. And this is what, oh, thank you, Nick. Awesome. Thank you for the, for the dollar sign. So choosing, like every time I go out there, I choose that for me, calls, sales call is an opportunity what's the keyword opportunity everybody comment opportunity below but i say opportunity opportunity <laughs> it's an opportunity for me to help to inspire to empower people and to solve their problems i found the marshmallows oh you found the marshmallows come on okay in the top row and that um, box thingy all right okay baby <laughs> now he's talking about marshmallow sorry sidetrack now so that is the space that kind of transformed my whole business because if i don't focus on making sales my business is suffering and if i keep on focusing oh i don't want to be salesy and pushy and everything my business is going to be suffering so i stopped i let it go i stopped using that word i'm creating my world using my words and I kind of stand in the place of, okay, who do I choose to be now? Whenever I go on calls, whenever I go on sales call. So for me, when I go on sales calls, every single time it's gonna be about me helping people. So helping people, you gotta stand in your place, in your purpose. The reason why you become entrepreneurs and coach is because you wanna help people, true, true. If that is true, click on the hearts and the likes button, thank you. So kind of coming from the space of, okay, I'm here, I want to help people, I want to add value to people's lives, I want to inspire them, I want to empower them. I want them to have the best possible future, I want them to have the best possible life. Now then, whenever you have an offer, you're just coming from the place of giving them an opportunity to solve their problems and helping them, adding value, make their lives better. So. That is kind of the thing that's going to help to transform your business. Coming from that space, that shift from salesy and pushy to helping people, adding value, making a difference, being of service, um, you know, helping people to have the best possible future. And the law of money states that if you want money to come in to your bank account, you have to exchange it with something, with expertise, with your products, with your services. So when you go out there helping people, adding value, making a difference, solving their problems, inspiring, helping, you know, all that, money gonna flow to you. Money is gonna flow to you. And that's how you're able to sell with authenticity because you're coming from the space of, your true space of helping people, making people happy, adding value, solving their problems, making their lives a little bit better. There you go. So that's how you're able to do it. And that's how I'm able to do it every single day and actually have fun with it because I'm coming from the space. Okay, today I'm going to have a chat so that I can help someone and make a difference in their life and make their life a little bit easier, make their life a little bit happier so that their, them and their family can have the best possible future. So that's it. So everybody just comment two things. Okay. So the first thing is just common word common word words create world that's it words create world so choose the words that's going to help to empower you oh yes i'm leaving off um to my my calendar at the link above the link below so that you can click on it a little bit later um if you're serious about attracting more clients and making more sales click on the link above and the other link below and then we get started with 
putting awesome, awesome strategy to help you get started in making sales. A sale a day, a sale a day, a sale a day, a sale a day. Now, who wouldn't want that, right? So there we go. Number one, stop using the word pushy because it's not serving you. So let it go. Words create world. Don't create yourself to be pushy. Be responsible about it. There's no like nice way to say it, but you are responsible in creating your results. So stop using the word pushy, first of all. And the second part is just be. Create. Create. Create who you choose to be. Everybody comments the word create. Comment create. Thank you. Create a purpose and value that is in alignment with you. Thank you for the hearts and the likes. Appreciate it. Um, create a purpose and value that's in alignment to you. Helping people, making people happy, um, adding value to people's lives, making a difference, seeing families, um, seeing families having the best possible future. Um, there you go, and then have fun with it. So then you'll be able to solve people's problem. There you go, solving people's problem again and again and again and again, helping people, adding value every day, every day, every day, every day. And in exchange for that, money flows your way. So everybody, I hope you got value from this. If you got value from this, comment yes, comment yes, comment yes. I wish you a happy Thanksgiving. And may you have a fantastic time. My husband wants me to cook meatloaf and then wants me to cook duck. So we will see how that goes, okay? We will see how that goes. So have a fantastic time. Remember, I'll, after this, I'll leave a link above and the link below so that you can schedule a free 45-minute session with me. I think I've got one or two sessions left so that if you're serious about attracting more clients and making more sales in your business every day without ads let's have a chat because you're going to get ready for 2020 now okay everybody and for those of you who just joined in make sure you catch the replay okay take care may peace be upon you bye bye